The Seattle Seahawks hit the road to take on Green Bay in the divisional round of the playoffs. Green Bay had an impressive season this year, finishing 13-3 and and winning the NFC North title. They also played very well at the legendary Lambeau Field, losing only once a season, making it a good matchup for the Seahawks, who only lost once on the road this year. This is a uh, fantastic opportunity for us um, to show uh, that we know how to travel again. And um, the fact that we have been successful doing it is important to us, knowing that this is a difficult to, uh, venue that you can play in. They're great at home this time of year, all that kind of stuff. Uh, makes it really a, a fantastic challenge for us. You know, the Packers will be ready. We know that. we got to get ourselves ready, get ready to play football on the road and, and do a good job again. And, and we will keep things pretty much the same. Um, we like the way it's gone. The, the rhythms and the tempo of it all has been good. And so uh, uh, there won't be a lot of changes. For us now, uh, the team that we have now going into this game, matchup, playoff game, uh, we're excited about the opportunity. Um, we're excited about how we've been playing on the road. And uh, obviously going into a tough environment, we've got to play great football to, against a very, very good football team. And um, that's really our only focus right now. The Packers' impressive record comes under first-year head coach Matt LaFleur. The new offensive-minded coach who had stops with the Rams, 49ers, and Falcons brought with him a new philosophy, and it seems to be paying off. He's the first coach in Green Bay's history to lead his team to the playoffs in his first season. They're different. They're a different offense and a different, you know, they look different on both sides of the ball. They've made some big adjustments. I think the thing that looks the most obvious is, uh, is the way the running back's playing. You know, Aaron Jones has just been a huge factor for them. Um, and he's he's taken the pressure off the quarterback spot. Um, you know, he rushed for a thousand yards, caught almost 50 passes, and has been elusive. He scored 19 touchdowns or something like that. You know, I mean, he's been a huge, huge factor. I think that has changed them as much as anything. But schematically, they're different too, though. Um, you know, Matt runs a different offense. So there's a lot of things that look the same, but it's not coming from the same notebook. I think the the obvious change is um, I think they have. A run game that they uh, kind of depend on a little bit. They, uh, you know, have a great back back there. He's able to, you know, rally off games where he, you know, rushes for 100 yards or whatever. And I feel like that really steps up their like play action game, um, you know, their boot game, things of that nature. So I think the run game uh, really complements what they do well already passing wise. And so. Um, I would say that's the biggest difference that I see on film. Third year running back Aaron Jones has been a difference maker this year. He's having the best season of his young career with 1,084 yards on the ground and leads the league in rushing and total touchdowns. He, he can do it all. He can run in between the tackles outside. He can catch the ball. He can just about do everything. We just got to rally and tackle him as a unit. They're going to be one guy. It's going to be everybody that's it's going to take to get him down. And He's going to be a big part of the game plan, I got to feel. So. You gotta get after that guy too. While the Packers offense has focused more on the run, you still have to be very aware of the other Aaron, quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who continues to be one of the top QBs in the league and his numbers continue to prove it. He's thrown only four interceptions all year long, which leads the NFL. So he's ridiculous. He's so, he's so good and, and he controls the game so much and he does so much at the line of scrimmage. Um, every aspect of the quarterbacking position, uh, you know, from seeing, the, reading the defense to get the, the, his offense in the right plays, uh, to um, tempo, to cadence, uh, I mean, everything about it. The scramble aspect of his, of his game is, is, you know, is, is as good as you can get. And, uh, in his extraordinary accuracy making throws. Rogers' favorite target this year is Devontae Adams, who finished just shy of 1,000 yards. Another big factor in their offense is a guy the Seahawks are very familiar with, tight end Jimmy Graham. They use him, you know, kind of the same. You know, he's a, he's a big guy, so they try to get him up on matchups and things of that nature. Um, you know, when he's kind of close to the core, uh, you don't really, you know, he's such a good uh, route runner and things like that. You don't really expect him to block too much. Um, so it's kind of like that. It's not too different than where, what we've seen when he was here, what we've seen when he was with the Saints. Um, obviously, he's a great receiving tight end, so they're going to find ways to get him the ball and get him in matchups that they feel are in their favor. The Packers' pass rush is led by two new additions this year, linebackers Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith. The two have been one of the most dangerous pass rush duos in the NFL, combining for 25 sacks. Zadarius also leads the league in quarterback pressures. Well, the Smith brothers have been um, lights out all year, you know, uh, 
You know, they got a bunch of sacks between the two of them. Uh, they've been able to get after the quarterback. They cause havoc in the run game. I mean, they just, they're as good as it gets up front. Um, and, and so we got to be ready to roll. Uh, the good thing for us, we've played a lot of great defensive lines, you know, throughout this whole season, you know, really, the, especially in the past several, several, uh, you know, weeks here. And, you know, and it's been, uh, it's, it, our, I think our offensive line has done a great job, you know, in battle and battled. And even last week, um, going against, um, you know, Graham and Cox for those guys, they've, you know, they're as good as it gets too. So um, these guys, they bring a lot of speed, a lot of power, a lot of quickness. Um, you know, so you got to know where they are at all times. Well, playing in Green Bay is tough. Playing there in January presents a whole new set of problems with the elements. But the Seahawks have won in severe weather before, and they aren't concerned with what the potential 20 degree weather will bring. One thing we know that we've played in, in weather that was like 50 degrees colder than it's going to be. So uh, we're really not going to worry about it. Well, the Seahawks have not won in Green Bay since 1999. Hopefully their exceptional play on the road this season will change that. Kickoff is set for 3.40 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Q13 or as always, listen to it on the Seahawks radio network.